Joining us is Ninong Ering, his Minister of State for Minority Affairs. On our news hour program last Friday, he was in complete denial that this was a case of racism. I asked him the question about whether this was a case of racism, and Nino Ering, as I welcome you back to the program, I must say you were extremely harsh with me. You got angry. You said, I'm saying everything wrong. I've got it all wrong. And tonight, everybody admits it's a case of racism. Nino Ering, welcome back to the program. Uh, Kiran Rijiju, who is a former member of parliament from the BJP, currently with the BJP, is in our studios in Delhi. He's also joined by senior advocate, uh, and he comes from Assam, uh, Upamanyo Hazarika. Thank you very much, Upamanyo. Good to see you in the studios tonight. And uh, good to see uh, also Ranjana Kumari, director of Center for Social Research, one of India's best respected activists. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I I'd, like to, I'd like to begin with the, with the minister. Mr. Redding, I don't like to, it's not about whether you're right or I'm right. But the fact of the matter is this, that when I asked you whether it was racism, you said absolutely not. You said there was some kind of scuffle. And you refused to accept that it was a case of racial discrimination. Today, not just do you admit it's a case of racial discrimination, but actually people are fighting for a formation of a strong anti-racism law and you are at the forefront. Mr. Minister, why did you get it so wrong? last Friday. Were you also in denial, Mr. Redding? Uh, at the very outset, good evening to all of you. And I'm really, you know, uh, sorry that that day you could not uh, give me a chance to, you know, clarify myself. But tonight, uh, it's good that uh, we start in a good note. And, uh, but first of all, I would really want to, you know, uh, request you that when I speak, you should also give me a chance to speak. And when you speak, I, I'm also ready to hear to you. But uh, 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 I, I would request you, uh, do you want to hear what I speak from my heart or do you want to hear uh, what you want to hear from me? Because when I had started, I said yes, it was called, but it took the racial color and it is because of that racialism that this boy was murdered or killed. So that was I wanted to explain, but you didn't give me a chance to explain. At the very outset, I can't see you, I'm looking straight at the uh, camera. So that is why that misunderstanding, you know, between us came. I got agitated or angry just because you didn't give me a chance to clarify myself. That was the reason. But uh, today, I'm in the forefront. We have met the Prime Minister. We have met the Home Minister. We are, as you are saying, we have already applied our minds, our, you know, determination that we have very strict and stringent law to against the, rational, uh, the racism that is prevalent in the country. So this I had told you that day also, that since the last, uh, you know, uh, 50 years, I have been dealing with it. I have always faced it myself. So that is why I am saying that, yes, it was of a racial, it is a ra ra uh, racism. It was a, uh, you know, it was a racist attack on that issue. But it started with a scuffle. That was the only clarification I wanted to say. That's it. Now... Mr. Edding, you know, I began by saying it's not about whether you're right or I'm right. And you, you, I'm sure as one gentleman to another, you'll agree I did not interrupt you at all. But I, I would like to play out, and this is not to put you on the defensive, I'd like to play out a clip of that program of news are right now. When you were, I were talking to yes, each other, it was yes, not yes. a hostile, but I must say it was a volatile conversation. I'll play that clip. Yes, let's play it out. Mr. Deodhar, one minute. I felt it since 1962. Mr. Ering, calm down. MP, calm down, Mr. Ering. When I, was, when I used to go to school, they used to call me a chinky. They used to call me chini ni gorke. I also... That's exactly I what I'm saying. This is not the way. So that's exactly I'm what I'm saying. saying. That this is not the way. That's when exactly what I'm saying. You, you say, who, who you are saying it. tonight... It you media people. You, you have started Mr. Ering, Ering is, calm down. You. Calm down, Don't Mr. Ering. Calm down, Mr. Yeah. Edding. You have admitted right now that you have experienced racism, haven't you? Now, now, Mr. Edding, now, Mr. Edding, I must say that, yeah. you know, you said you media people always get it wrong. I'm not saying I'm right, you're wrong. But I'm saying, Mr. Edding, the media is not always wrong. Now, I got, and I I'm said sorry, to you I that day that, that I, too, day because it proudly come sentiments. from the northeastern part of this country. And I'm aware of the yeah. kind of, you know, the racist slurs that a lot of people from our part of the region have to face. And we all have to together fight it, Mr. Edding. True. We have to fight it together. Uh, that is why we have come forward. We, we, we have to fight it together. My younger brother is there now with me, uh, Kiran Rijuju. We even have a discussion in the IBN 7 just now. And he has also got the same sentiment, yeah. the same feeling. We all feel that we have this racist yeah. color in our country. But what should we do? We have to have yeah. some stringent measures to check it.
to you know educate our people in the mainland yeah. India that yeah. we from the northeast are more Indians than you. You know, absolutely. Or we are everyone from the northeast is as much an Indian as anyone from Rajasthan or Kerala or any part of this great nation of ours. True. That's all. My point is there. Now, 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 Mr. Minister, is not between you and me. I'd like to bring in Kiran Rijiju. Uh, you know, Opomanyu and of course Ranjana. And I don't know if Sambit Patra is there from the BJP yet. He'll be with us in a minute. What was the reason why? Now, you know, everyone comes in now. Rahul Gandhi goes yesterday. Arvind Kejriwal goes today. Somebody says the BJP will land up there tomorrow. That's political one-upmanship, isn't it? The problem is that uh, if we take this case as um, isolated or a special case, then we will never be able to solve the problem. This case is very serious, but this is culmination of series of incidents which is happening not only in the national capital of India, but across the mainland. And there may be related cases in Northeast also. What I want to say and stress is that we must admit the reality. What, what is, the reality which of the society is, is? India is deeply casteist. India is deeply racist society. If we admit the reality, then only we will have a solution 67 years after independence. If if we have failed to progress as a nation together, every section of the uh, society, we must admit that India is a multiracial nation. Why were people so touchy on Friday? I want to play out one more clip. There was Seshadri Chari and I asked him to come today on the program. Yes. Seshadri Chari was pointing his finger at, with me and saying, you've got it wrong, don't you call it racism. He said to me, he said, you're going to drive, drive you're going to create a wedge. And he says, by calling it racism or not, will you bring that boy back to life? And I said, no, I may not be able to bring that boy to, back to life, but I will ensure yeah. that other boys don't seek, seek the same fate. I want to play a small clip of what he said. Upamani, you heard him? Yes, I heard Last him. Friday? Yes, I heard him. And it was actually, he got stuck on semantics. Here, this is not a question of semantics. It's a question of fact. What we have here is a series, as uh, yeah, yeah, Mr. Kiran Riju said it. In two th and every time it takes a death to trigger off an outreach. Yeah, yeah. What you have is, in May 2012, you had Richard Loitam, you had Dana Sangma. You had a chief minister of Meghalaya saying that we are victims of racism, please do something. That was his niece who yeah, died. Yeah. Thereafter, in August 2012, we had that mass exodus yes. from the rest of the country, only because of cultural stereotyping. But not a single pie was given to all, any of them for compensation. Now, we all always land up in a reactive mode. If an incident happens, because in, invariably in all these cases, police don't act. Here, the boy was picked up by the police, taken to the police station, kept for a few hours, brought back and dropped to the same, at the same place, or beaten up again, and then he was told to go home. And according to the memorandum, he was made to sign a document that he would not take any medical examination. Yeah, yeah. So therefore, we, every time we react, and we are all very thankful that the police have been forced to act, that they've made a couple of arrests. But I think the time you has come to move beyond that. We now move to, need to move into deterrence. There, of course, there is social condition. No, we'll, we'll come to that, but I, I, find, I find the hypocrisy striking. You know, what yes, strikes absolutely. me, Opomanyu, is, is the kind of initial response I got on Friday. I mean, I was amazed, I, was I must say. I was in the program. It was a, I, I was amazed funny. and I said, today, every, every one of those people, and I must say, there were some media channels and some senior journalists who said, you know, it is so wrong to call this racism. You have no proof. You have no facts. You're jumping the gun and there were people, the same people are today trying to analyze why this is racism is happening. That's hypocrisy to the extreme in my point of view. But Ranjana, uh, you know, the Delhi police has now formed a special investigation team into Nido's death. Teams are sent to Uttar Pradesh, Haryana, Punjab to get all these people. There was no urgency before Rahul Gandhi landed up there. Well, I think this whole political hypocrisy, in spite of the fact that there have been girls and women from Northeast who have been targeted, we've had so many rape cases where they were targeted and we identified the areas where they're living. There are concentration of their population, yes, yes. young people who come for yes. education, for job, and they're living there and the local population is misbehaving, ill-treating, and also definitely racist overtones are there. Everybody knows about that, but the political class is not acted till date. Why? Why have Create they? the kind of, you know, especially in the Delhi's aggressive, conservative culture, yeah. where these youngsters come from more free society. They come from more freedom. They, they, they come and they become the target of these aggressive 
Delhi Walas who are, you know, who have not enjoyed that level of freedom. They don't know what it means for a woman to be, you know, walking free, wearing what she wants to wear, be in the place that she wants to be. I think this is something which needs to be not just by showing some kind of a sympathy and go and sit there and then you start, you know, showing your concern for it. I think it is important that this cultural divide, this racist divide has to be wedged by the political Nation. class on a regular basis by democratizing. But they won't. By they won't. They, Today they are racing there only because they are worried about perception. They think the people in North, Northeast India are finally up in arms. And it's damn good if they are. You know, metaphorically, I don't mean up in arms otherwise. It's damn good if they are because they need to stand up and say enough is enough. I think Arvind Kejriwal is being thoroughly hypocritical by trying to follow Rahul Gandhi. Now, where was Arvind Kejriwal till now? He didn't care. I wanted to ask Arvind Kejriwal one question. You know, the same lynch mob mobs you were supporting, Somnath Bharti led a lynch mob, didn't he? He created the environment. Right? It's just that he targeted people from Africa. And it was the same lynch mob mentality that you supported a couple of weeks back. And today, you're not really sitting on dharna because Nero died. You're doing this perfunctory, superficial visit uh, you know, a day after Rahul Gandhi goes to a protest site. Okay. Sambit Patra, welcome. Well, yeah, 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 you want to come. Yeah, you want, you, you want to come. Yeah, yeah, okay. I visited the Dharna site. Yeah. I'll say this, that Arvind Kejriwal, when he made the speech, all that he was doing was targeting the Delhi police. Because that is the campaign yeah, that he has. He's simply, that's, know, that's uh, ridiculous, isn't it? Just using it for yourself. Uh, we have referred to the political class uh, yeah. for <coughs> this particular case. Now we need to take a step further, lift the momentum. Now political classes are showing response or seem to be responding to the occasion. Now what about the legislation? Of course. Now, after 67 years of independence, <laughs> if we have not been satisfied with the, the way we have progressed so far, yeah. we need to re-look. Totally. And, and if, if, we, we, if we have a law against atrocities, against the civil castes and civil tribes, why not on the racial basis? I agree with you. We I need to legislate a law. This is time to enact a law you know, it moves, so that there is so that no, 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 I'm happy you're saying this, but I really <coughs> want to understand the pathology of denial. And Sambit Patra of the BJP, welcome. I want to show you the pathology of denial of your party. I'll run for you a clip of Sishad Richari. And I, I have great regard for him. But the manner in which he got violently upset when I asked him, could this be racism, was something unnatural about it. Will you see that clip, Shambit? Definitely. Can I run Why that not? clip for you? Yes, sure. To, to show you how completely supercilious the BJP was in its initial response. Let, let me see the clip first. Yeah, let you see the clip. And if you're honest about it, you will apologize. No, I'll be honest about position. everything. Okay, here's the clip of Sishadri yes. Chari of the BJP. Mr. Chari, let me say what Mr. Chari, racism against students from the respond. Northeast is proven. Is proven. No. It is it proven. Is not racism. Right. right. No, it is racism, racism against people from the Northeast is a proven this, fact. This incident, this incident is deplorable. This incident is wrong. We condemn it. But for exactly. God's sake, don't make it an incident of racism. I am telling you, this is an attempt. This is an attempt. Then why is at, it year at after creating, year? At creating young people a wedge. from the Northeast. Okay, for God's sake, Sambit, tell me, was that position wrong? Honorable, I saw the clip. It was a short clip, but all that I could make out from the clip was his you intentions want... were right. What intentions no, no, no. were I, right? I'm coming, I'm not coming. racist. I mean, no, 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 that, Sambit, I'm coming, I'm coming. No, no, watch, open on you. No, no. Intentions right. Do you want to just he, respond? He, he, to... He, he no, what do you mean intentions the... right? He said this is a deplorable incident. Deplorable, he said deplorable. the issue was not racist. Ranjana, no, look, I heard him say, I said, I said, he said, he said the issue is not racist. No, no, you asked I'm asking you today. No, 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 just a second, just a second. I agree with you. No, no, I agree with you. No, 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 watch it. Complete a single sentence. This is not just one incident that happened. No. You me, can call it deplorable. You are right. You, you are right. Anything. You are right. But I'm, what is? What are we doing yes, with our I'm, people who are coming yes, from North East? Yes, right. absolutely right. Don't be wrong. It's because of I your order. I'm from East of that. India. I come from East of India, so I understand no. the pain of the people. Who no, 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 nobody I wants to understand your pain. I don't care whether you understand. Is that the issue? Let me put on you. Let me put on you. Isn't that a highly patronizing attitude to take? Is it not a question of pain? It is not a question of pain that you feel. It is a question of fact. Here you have today. Here today you have 
a boy being killed. Yes. A, just a week, 10 days ago, yes. two Tangkul girls were hauled up in yes. Kotla Mubarakpur. They were assaulted. Yes. That would have gone unreported, but for this very incident. Absolutely. Yes. And then you say you feel the pain. And these things no, happen on a continuous basis. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. continues to happen on a continuous basis. Yeah, it's only when a death happens. What you you should about? be asking this to Rahul Gandhi and Kejri. There is no Please question of Rahul Gandhi. It's a question of attitude and a mindset. Let me allow me to complete a sentence. Which party is Seshadri Chari from? You are not is he from the Congress party? Honor, you have not allowed me to complete a sentence. Is he from the Congress party? I am not... Shashadri Chari did not stand in favour of the hooligans who were responsible for the He said this is not racism. I am asking Why you today, did he say Sambit, so? did you Sambit, that? I am asking you I'm today, saying it is how can something not be racism it is on racism. Friday? It it's is so, racism. So explain to me, but it's you, not racism not on Friday. Me to explain. It's not, not racism to, on Friday, it, it becomes racism. racism on Tuesday. No, it is racism, but allow me to come to Who was single, being a hypocrite on Friday? You have to allow me to come to a single sentence, or not? And what Mr. Sasadri Chari meant was, for God's sake, do not divide this country in the name of racism. Well, they do no, not have no, any no, kind of division within the country. The country. His, intentions, his intentions suffer. are crystal clear. Yeah, we do not sure want a fight within this country. We do not want What's to see any northeastern friend of ours die this way. It's not about dividing the country. It's about understanding. No, no, I want to was put in the wrong manner. Actually, it's not about dividing. Actually, what Mr. Chari said, was wrong at that particular time. No, so how is he it right not, today? No. Because he should, because the emotions, the incident, he said, uh, the, the said, outburst. No, no, one second. He said, and I find it strange, he said, it is not racism, it is not racism. Yes, he said I condemn that. How could he say I that? I condemn that because... How could he say that? He could not have said that in that means on, you have on a prejudice, what capacity he said no, that. No, that means you have a prejudiced mindset at the start. That's why I said... That one, means, one should not carry a prejudiced mindset and if, if... Why does your party have a prejudiced mindset? No, our party does it's not have a prejudiced mindset. Then why did Who it say it's no, not no. racism? I, 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 could, I could see the colour of Mr. Sasadri Chari change. No. He was in rage yeah. of emotion. And in no, emotion no, no, no. he said no, that, no, please, for God's sake, one let's not have a division of the country on colour. Responses. I think, I think you are not looking at the deeper problem where we as people are discriminating against our own citizen yeah, because they belong to their other. They belong to different looks. They belong to yeah, so this yeah. is what else is racism? We are not Precisely. treating them properly and then then he's saying deplorable. I mean, this is very easy to say. In retrospect, Mr. Ering, no, no, in, what Mr. Doing about Mr. It? Mr. Minister, Mr. Ering, sorry to keep you out of the debate. I have just one question for you before I wrap this up. In retrospect, Mr. 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 Ering, today is there a learning out of this? The learning being tomorrow that when somebody says that, you know, there is racism in our country. And I said Except on Friday, I said we are one of, we accept the fall that India is one of the ra most racist countries in the world. Whereas it should be the last, last country to have that kind of attitude because it's India is with victim of racism. Exactly. We have been a uh, victim of racism for the last two, 200 years. But and still we are a racist society. There are race relations act. We have a Race Elections Act in the United Kingdom, which came about in 68, amended in 76 and yeah. 2000. This happened because migrations had picked up uh, yeah. to the United Kingdom, yeah, yeah. after which you had uh, these issues coming up. Uh, so therefore, to address all your queries, this is, this is not a question of whether we like or we, it's a question no. of intention. It's a question of objective fact, Absolutely. recognizing Last that fact, acting upon it. So if you bring about that kind of a legislation, no, no, you are therefore going to no, have... No, I have just one question I want to ask. I want to ask you, Mr. Redding, will you take leadership for it? Yeah. People expect you as a minister for yes. minority affairs from the northeast, you are from Arunachal, you should take the lead yes, for it yes. and tell the people of this country, look here, there is racism in our country. And let's fight it together. Yes. Not as people from Arunachal, Assam, Gujarat or Delhi. India is a signature we fight it together. discrimination. Uh, do you think we can do it, Mr. Ehring? UN Convention yes. on ah, Racial Discrimination. Yes, yes. At the very outset, I would really like to thank this media for really bringing this consciousness to each and every citizen. Let us not politicalize it. It is true, we have already started the initiatives. We have met the Honorable Prime Minister, we have met the Home Minister, we have met Mr. Kejriwal, we have met uh, Mr. Rahul Gandhi, we have met most of the uh, you know, uh, MPs and uh, ministers of this, uh, of this country. And we are taking some very stringent measures. The Honorable Home Minister, the Honorable Prime Minister assured us. Uh, in fact, the, the, leader, you know, the leader of the opposition of the Rajya Sabha also has, I think, assured to the children that they will all be fighting with us. And in fact, I have even asked uh, for, you know, a written a letter to the Honorable Speaker that the uh, question R may be suspended so that we may take up this discussion on the demise of this uh, disease, of this uh, poor boy, of this young boy yes. uh, of the Northeast who has been, uh, you know, kind of a, a victim of uh, racial uh, discrimination. But 
what I want to say is that we have to uh, enact our laws. We have to bring, you know, kind of solution to it. We have to bring fast justice. We should have a so fast track. And already, uh, Honorable uh, Home Minister has already given us an assurance that a committee has been f uh, formed. In yes. fact, a member of our own uh, community from the uh, Arunachal, uh, Mr. Tape Bagra, has already been recommended for this uh, committee, which is really a very big, uh, strong committee. Good. And it will be strengthened because all the members of the well, Northeast will be there. Well, I think if there is total unanimity, I'd say this. Let the parliament, let this parliament, which otherwise this Lok Sabha goes down in history as one of the least yes. functioning Lok Sabhas, here's an opportunity. This Lok Sabha should prove yes. in the first couple of days the people, not just from Northeast India, everywhere in the world are watching. Let us pass that anti-racism law. It yes. will take no time. Let there be consensus. Let there be commitment. I thank you all. It's not about one-upmanship, but I am glad thank we've you. at least bring, been able to bring this issue, uh, you know, up front. Thank you. That's the best tribute that we can have for Nido, I guess. Thank you very much for joining me, ladies and gentlemen, on debate number two tonight.